The Roto Press. Sounds like some kind of Ronco kitchen gadget. Turns out, it might be picking up your garbage. Stop down to the curb to find out more. Hello, I'm Waste and Recycling News Editor John Campanelli. Waste Management Incorporated is bringing the Roto Press to America. It's a waste collection vehicle that looks more like a concrete mixer than a traditional American garbage truck. The Roto Press, manufactured by the German company Fawn, compacts trash without a blade. Instead, it spins the load inside a cylinder with a sort of corkscrew interior. The result is a vehicle with fewer moving parts, less noise, and a larger capacity. The Rotopress can hold about four tons more payload than a typical trash truck. The vehicle is also leak-proof and can be used with a decoupled tractor, reducing its turn radius and maximizing fleet flexibility. Waste Management is unveiling the Rotopress with a pilot program in Houston and will follow with pilot projects in San Diego, Milwaukee, Sacramento, and Camden, New Jersey. The Rotopress is not new technology. The trucks have been working the streets of Europe for eight decades. In other news, Waste and Recycling News was in Baltimore earlier this month for the EPA's Landfill Methane Outreach Program's annual conference. The conference enjoyed a record turnout of more than 600 attendees, so it's no surprise that 2012 will see a milestone in the number of landfill gas projects in operation. Sometime this year, the U.S. will see its 600th project go online. Landfill gas, which is generated from rotting garbage, is rich in methane, and once collected and processed, it can fuel vehicles, generate electricity, or be used for other energy needs. In 2011 alone, landfill gas projects in the U.S. produced 102 billion cubic feet of gas and 14.3 billion kilowatts of electricity, enough to power about 1.4 million homes. Finally, and we apologize for this, a bit of shameless promotion. The Waste and Recycling News Twitter feed is quickly approaching 3,000 followers. The person who becomes that coveted 3,000th follower and the person who referred that follower will receive this rather awesome Waste and Recycling News Dumpster Diver t-shirt. So please jump on the bandwagon by going to Twitter and following Waste Recyc News. And if you're not the 3,000th follower or are already following us, you are getting a consolation prize. Breaking recycling and waste news and headlines all day long via Twitter. I just want to know why we're able to give away these shirts when this curbside live anchor may be missing an important part of his wardrobe. I'm not wearing any pants. Film at 11. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week at the curbside.